If that courier isn't here in the next five minutes, I'm going to turn his skull into a... Oh, I don't know what I'll turn his skull into. I'll think of something. Something hideous. Perhaps an umbrella stand. That would be sufficiently wretched. And funny. Hm. And for once, that huge melon on top of his fat neck would actually serve a use. Ah, there you are. Took your time, didn't you? Did you finally tear yourself away from the thrilling task of picking your nose to do your actual job? Well, how magnanimous of you. I presume this person meets all of my requirements, yes? I needn't remind you you're quite lucky to be alive after failing me once. You won't survive a second mistake. <sighs> no groveling. It's most unbecoming. Just leave us. So, here you are. It was quite difficult to find you. Well, difficult for my servants. If I were to demean myself to such a menial task, I could have found you in minutes. Alas, the burdens of state require my attention, so I must rely on the mediocre talents of henchmen, like some common highwayman. Ugh. Regardless, I certainly hope you were worth the wait. We have much to do, my new servant. Hmm. Intriguing. You know, I don't recall giving you permission to speak. However, I will forgive you. Because I am a benevolent mistress, and because speaking freely is necessary for your task. But never forget whose presence you're in. I beg your indulgence. I believe I misheard you. I could have sworn you just called me the Evil Queen. You see, I'm certain that's not what you said. Not even the lowly commoners such as yourself could possibly be foolhardy enough to use that spiteful nickname right in front of me. Yes, I thought so. Just so we're crystal clear on the matter, my proper title is Queen of Garol, Empress of the Great Abyssal Empire and most high sorceress. For the sake of brevity, in formal settings you may address me as Your Magnificence, and privately you may call me Mistress. Excellent. I do so enjoy a properly submissive servant who knows their place is beneath me. Come closer. I'd like to get a good look at you. Hmm. What a pleasant surprise. You're quite pleasing to the eye. Uh, comparatively. <laughs> the last advisor brought to me was horrible to look at. What? Yes, an advisor. Are you telling me that you weren't told why you were brought here? He was in too much of a hurry. Ugh. <laughs> too bad. He had almost redeemed himself. Umbrella stand it is. <laughs> you there, guard. Not you, you. No, the, ugh. The one on the left. Your other left. The ginger one, you, ugh. You, yes. Ugh. Find that courier and throw him to my chimera. It's been nearly a week since the poor thing had human flesh. A diet of beef and mutton is hardly sufficient for one of my creations. Oh, and uh, see to it that you tell the chimera keeper to keep the courier's skull. I intend to do some arts and crafts. <sighs> now, I suppose I'll have to explain exactly what it is you're here for. I've recently found myself in need of a... Ugh. 
diplomatic advisor. Well, you see, ever since I seized the crown of Carol and started building my empire, I've mainly relied on strength, shows of force. My magic is potent and far-reaching, and I've amassed one of the mightiest armies in the world. And for a while, I never imagined I'd need anything else. But you see, until recently, I had a rival. Corella, the great witch, holds power similar to mine, though admittedly less impressive, and was creating a competing empire. But she made too many enemies too quickly, and a group of nations allied together. They are currently in the process of dismantling her domain, piecemeal. I'm becoming increasingly concerned that once they're finished with her, they'll turn to me. So, I need to learn how to play nice with the leaders of this new alliance. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. I have no intentions of becoming friends with that troop of chest-beating apes. I just need to buy time to gain enough power to take them all out at once. My ultimate goal is to build a globe-spanning empire, encompassing every land and every race. Anything or anyone who gets in the way of that goal is practically dead already. They just don't know it. I sent my courier, <laughs> may he rest in pieces, to fetch someone well-known for being... likable. Personable. Cute. Or at least... <laughs> unthreatening. And it sounds like the people of your little hamlet have quite a lot of good things to say about you. I trust you'll be more than suited to helping me win the hearts of my enemies. Hmm. I expected that response. Take care with false modesty, servant. It won't get you anything pleasant from me. Now that you're here, you'll be serving me one way or another. And advisor is the best option open to you, by far. I suppose the next best position would probably be as a caretaker for my chimera. It wouldn't be a very pleasant job, but at least it would be over soon. <laughs> Everyone slips up at some point, and chimeras, much like myself, aren't known for being forgiving. But if you really think you aren't capable of being my advisor, then... <laughs> oh, that's better. I'm glad to see you aren't stubborn. Stubborn servants don't tend to last very long. So, I imagine the first thing I should be doing is sending them a message to convince them I'm not a threat. Does that sound right to you? Good. Good. That desk over there is for you. Complete with writing supplies. Sit down and make use of them. I'll dictate the message to you. Uh, you have the unique privilege of interrupting me if what I'm saying doesn't seem... Ugh. Friendly enough. Uh, you do know how to write, don't you? Wonderful. Now, let's see. To the so-called Eastern Kingdom Alliance. What? Already? What did I say? Oh, really, so-called is a problem? Well, if I recognize their alliance as legitimate, aren't I implying they're doing the right thing? This alliance of theirs is nothing more than the cowardly instinct of the weak to huddle. Uh, very well. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I suppose I could see how that could be taken as hostile. So, uh, remove the so-called. Uh, all right. To the distinguished Eastern Kingdom Alliance. Ugh, gag me. 
Allow me to be the first to congratulate each member nation on their decision to gang up on... Uh, no, you don't even need to say it. I heard it as soon as it came out of my mouth. Uh, on their decision to unite against an enemy of peace. Ugh. Beginning to feel genuinely ill. I'm not even kidding. Ugh. Anyway, moving on. I wish to take this opportunity to remind you that while my actions may resemble those of Corella the Great Witch, my intentions are entirely different. The several nations I've conquered are lazy, self-destructive yahoos who needed a guiding hand. I... <sighs> oh, fine. <sighs> lazy, self-destructive uh, barbarians who... <sighs> oh, come now. It's true, you can't deny that. You were all worthless before I came along. I mean, you're still worthless, but now you can pretend you're slightly more important as the subjects of the world's most powerful sorcerers. Oh, they won't see it that way. Oh, ugh. That's because they're morons. This is much harder than I thought it would be. Maybe I'd have better luck with seduction instead. I mean, some of the leaders are female, but that hasn't stopped me before. Well, even if I did choose to say something different, how would I possibly convince those self-righteous idiots that my conquests have been justified? Watch it. I didn't hire you to question my morality. I hired you to make me look good. Well, look innocent. I always look good. <laughs> so, I'm waiting. How do I explain these several wars I've waged on all those so-called innocents? Ah, uh, you don't know. Then why are you here? I should have known a commoner wouldn't have the brains to handle politics. Ugh, oh, too bad I killed off anyone with leadership skills when I took over. Oh well, gods! Oh, don't bother begging. Well, maybe you can beg a little. But if I were you, I wouldn't be insisting that I didn't do anything wrong. I'd be explaining how I would be able to serve better in the future. If I were you. Is that how you friendly types know how to say things people like? Pretend you were them and think about what you'd want to hear? Interesting. I may have solved my own problem. I don't have to justify my conquests. <laughs> if I were them, I wouldn't believe a single thing I said. I'd want to hear about how I'd change. Hmm. Perhaps you'll be useful to me after all. As a source of inspiration, if nothing else. And I suppose you did have some useful insights earlier. Oh. All right. I'll keep you after all. I don't need a second umbrella stand. Now, we do need to finish that letter at some point. But personally, the whole thing has me exhausted. Being nice is so tiring. We have plenty of time to work later. For now, let's take a break, have dinner. It'll give us a chance to get to know each other better outside of work. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> trust you have nowhere else to be. <laughs> uh, of course you don't, I was only joking. From now on, the only place you ever need to be is wherever I want you. The only thing you need do is follow my orders. Isn't that nice? You can leave all the thinking to your queen. Sometimes I wonder why so few people seem to appreciate that. But you're happy to let me handle things, aren't you? Very good. Well, you know, I haven't thought about what I want to call you. Uh, 
No, no, not you, not your name. I can't be bothered to learn everyone's names. Do you know how many Johns there are in this kingdom? Oh my goodness gracious. Peasants are so uncreative. Uh, you need a title. Servant? Well, but I have so many servants. Uh, advisor? Well, perhaps occasionally. But I'd like to be able to call you something less formal when I'm in one of my rare good moods. Hmm. Helper. Yes. Yes, I like that. You're my little helper. <laughs> That's what I'll call you from now on. Come along, little helper. <laughs> Let's see what the cooks have ready for us today. <laughs>